Hey guys, uh, Sash again. So, pretty much the uh, the thing that I said could happen um, if you don't stabilize your daredevil figure uh, happened. He fell, and uh, yeah, was not ideal. So I, after all that, um, I had to basically redo the pose that I had him in. Decided to put him in a much more stable pose. Uh, completely different, but you'll see why um, <laughs> why I have him in this pose now. Um, which, to be honest, is a pretty pretty awesome pose. So it's kind of a one of those happy accidents. Luckily, nothing was damaged on the figure. Um, his head came off, and his his foot came off, and um, that was about it. But uh, Yep, he, he just went flying down there. Um, he was reasonably stable, but um, with because we live so close to the road, uh, just takes a truck basically rumbling by to uh, jostle him off. So, However, we have a completely new pose. Uh, the nunchucks are gone. I've decided to incorporate the billy club, or the... Billy staff, I guess you could call it. Um, yeah, so I'll quickly go through this pose. As you can see, if I rock him there, he's pretty stable. He rocks with the diorama and with the shelf. So not a lot of chance of him falling over again. Um, that's just that's just the the risk that you take when you don't use things like crotch stands and you want your figure to stand on its own. Um, it's not a real person, obviously, so it's not going to stand on its own um, all the time. However, what we do have is, uh, as you can see, I've used a weight back here, which you can't can't see normally. This is kind of the normal view from the from the couch. Got the shadow going there, the noir shadow. So this is really just something uh, as a precaution. It's just a, a weight that I can just take off. But um, I'm a little worried and concerned that there is some weight on the on the gargoyle here. And I just don't want the whole thing to topple over because then it would be bye-bye gargoyle as well, which... Um, <laughs> would just reduce me to tears to be honest because this thing is um incredible so just quickly i'll quickly go over the pose um for you we have so we have a point of contact here with this foot we have uh this foot sort of curled down here we have the knee here we also have which i think is actually pretty cool he's actually holding the uh the horn of the gargoyle which, when you kind of look at it from, you know, typical sort of viewpoint, it really kind of connects him to that gargoyle. And it's like, it was almost like they came as one piece together. He could be, he could be a statue. Um, not really a lot else to say. I mean, he's kind of crouched. Um... And ready. Looking over the city, he's got his billy club there, as if he's listening out for trouble. And he's ready to go. So, this pose is ten times better than the last pose I had, so it is one of those happy accidents. So, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, sometimes things happen for a reason. Um, and you end up in an even better situation than when you started. So, a little life lesson for you. But um, after all that, um, it's funny. I must have spent like 15 minutes or something going over that, that other pose on that repose day video. And here we are, in a completely different pose. See, I told you. I told you I would probably change it uh, the next day. I didn't know it would be for uh, for that reason. But there you go, and I'll stop at five minutes. That's my uh, quick 
update on the pose and um, yeah I think that's that's pretty badass that's a pretty pretty awesome pose pretty happy with that so yeah like comment subscribe even if you haven't already um, if you like figures if you want to see Daredevil in any more poses, let me know. Uh, check out my 100 poses video. Alright. Thanks a lot. See you next time.